Shout loud, hallelujah. A loud, hallelujah. I welcome once again to speak words to the mountains prayer meetings. And as many people as are here tonight, every mountain confronting your destiny shall be disgraced. Let your amen be loud and clear. Let's raise up our hands to the Lord as we sing loud and clear. Hallelujah for the Lord God, go me potent rain. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord God. Hallelujah, 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 pray. Sing it again loud and clear. Hallelujah, for the Lord, Lord, who we protect. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, blessed Jesus, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus, blessed Jesus. There is no Possibility, possible. You made it possibility. You over Jaira, you over Lisi, you over Rui. You over Lisi, you over Rafa, you over Rui. Hallelujah, you made it possible. Hallelujah. Your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand. I've been to Calvary. Yeah. I did my hands in the blood of the Lamb. I did the blood of Jesus. My life has been made. I've been to Calvary. I've 
Pinto Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My life has been made whole. Go ahead, go ahead. My life has been made whole. 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 A bit of cavalry.
silence, beloved. There's an array of people gathered here tonight. Some are here tonight. Situations happening in your life is almost making you to go out of your mind. Something is going to happen tonight that will make the arrows of the enemy to backfire. There are some people here tonight. There is a demon following you called the demon of near success syndrome. Almost there, but not there. As many people as are gathered in this meeting tonight, and there is a spirit of almost there, a near success syndrome following you about. I say, come seven from here. The power of Jehovah will fall upon you. And those powers are separate from your life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They must separate from your life. Listen. Something is going to happen to three sisters. And they may not be able to stand on their feet. As I make this pronouncement three times. Every as mother, as daughter spirit. Troubling you, that sister over there. I bind it and I cast it out. Every spirit of as mother, as daughter. Troubling that sister over there. I bind you and I cast you out. Every spirit of us, mother, as daughter, over that sister over there, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. That's number one. That's number two. That's number three. Let her go. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. There are some groups of people gathered there tonight. They are suffering from what you call midnight enchantment. Every midnight, the enemy renews his contract to trouble your life. That contract shall be nullified tonight. Yes. If you are that sister here, strange marks suddenly appeared in your body where that strange mark is now if you give it a sevenfold slap it will vanish instantly you that person here and you are having dreams which are resulting in terrible physical manifestations the power of God is going to touch you tonight and that yoke shall be broken to pieces Right now, pray these strange prayers. Strange but powerful prayers. The powers that bite and sting. Can you shout that loud? Of my father's heart. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening now. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, they are biting, they are stinging. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oracles. Calling my name. Shut up. Da. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that word.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers! Judging me in the dark. Can I hear somebody shouting that loud? That voice is not loud enough. That voice is not loud enough. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone is here many, many years ago because of the troubles and tribulations you were going through. Somebody took you to a flowing stream and asked you to remove your clothes. And you throw your clothes into the flowing stream and wore new clothes. The clothes you threw into the flowing stream is what is now being used against you. That person right there where you are, the marine powers that are banking your breakthroughs, they have been forced to release them. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody is in this meeting. You actually physically came here with a bad medical report. I have information for you from heaven that whatsoever is in that report has been overruled by the power of God. I want you to sing a song. Please. It will be a tragedy if you allow the voice of the person next to you be lower than yours. This song is prophetic and it must happen right now because the angels here are ready to do it. The louder you sing the song, the more widely you sing the song, the more recklessly you sing the song, the greater the trouble the enemy will face. We sing that song, then we pray a prayer to follow it. Carry your load, carry your load, carry your load. Oh, la so you load, carry your load. Oh, la so you load, carry. Sing it loud. happening they must carry their loads you will shout this loud and clear oh no so fearful Lord appear carry your load in the name
They must carry their load. Tonight is tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Carry your load of infirmity. Carry your load of sickness. Carry your load of trouble. Tonight is tonight. Tonight is tonight. Tonight is tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, yes. It's happening. Yes. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. This is a very serious matter. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. As I pray on these hands, if you have any trouble in any part of your body, grab the place as if you are going to pull something out and hand it over to the enemy before you to carry it away. You lay your hands on the place and prophetically pull something out hand it over to them to carry their load away. Father, these hands that are stretched forward here, let these hands become the hands of signs and wonders. The hands of breakthrough and healing. The hands of fire and power. The hands that would destabilize every Jericho. The hands that will send evil arrow back to the senders. The hands of signs and wonders. The hands of deliverance. The hands of fire and power. In the name of Jesus. Grab any area in your body where there is trouble. One. Hand it over to the enemy. Two. Hand it over again. Three. Hand it over. Four. Hand it over. Five. Six. Seven. Look at what is happening. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Hand it over. Twelve. It's coming out. Coming out. That's right. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Hand it over. Let them carry it away. Makate sete ya Now get yourself ready. You will now smite that place of trouble 21 times. Very aggressively, and you will shout back to the sender. Let's go. Hmm? Do it well. Bakapot haribo sepila kaya bo shandara ba. Ribo seponde kaya bo shentera bo kopola basanta. Check your body now. Check it well. Many strange things are happening here. Many evil plantations have vanished. Makapotaribo sepia. Dalika tenda kaya bushanda. Daribo sependa kaya bushenteraba. Papia rika tenda rabo senta. Dakaya bushenteraba santa. Mania tikaterabo senta. Darido kosependa kaya bushenta. 
you powers that you have put this person called Fenwa in a demonic hole. I command you to release this person. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Right there where you are, with all eyes closed, pick any song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings. Say thank you, Jesus. Let's have a see God bless you. This evening is an evening of seven mountain moving prayers. Very soon we shall start those prayers. But meanwhile, let's look at Genesis chapter 29, verse 31. We are looking at analysis of the enemy. Analysis of the enemy. What did I say? Genesis chapter 29, verse 31. If you are there, say yes. Everyone there? And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb. And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb. Listen, beloved. The Almighty will bless you because there are those who hate you. Leah was thoroughly hated. And because Leah was hated, God opened her. Because somebody hates you somewhere, God is going to bless you. That amen is not loud enough. Because somebody hates to see your doors open, God will now open uncommon doors for you. And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb. Because somebody hates to see you laugh, the Lord will make you laugh louder. Yeah. A seven fold man. Yeah. The Bible says. And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened a womb. Everyone, whether you like it or not, you will have an enemy. You always have. It's, it's, possible, it's impossible not to have. You have an enemy. But the hard truth, which many people don't like to hear, is that you actually need that enemy. You need the enemy. If Goliath did not turn up as an enemy to David, David would not have been promoted. I prophesy upon somebody here. Every step of your enemy shall become your promotion. Shall become your promotion. Shall become your promotion. In the name of Jesus. Listen. If you have no enemy, you are either an idiot zombie, 
an imbecile or more appropriately a bastard because the bible says let God arise and let the enemy of God scatter so if God has enemy then you are a bastard to say then God is not your father if you say I don't have if you say you have no enemies or if you have no enemies it means you have nothing worth contesting for the enemy has summarized your life and decide that you are worthless. Can you raise up your right hand and close your eyes and shout this loud and clear? Enemies that do not want to let me rest. Your time is up. Damn! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If you have no enemies, it means that in life, you do not carry gold. You are just carrying firewood and waste and garbage. So every man is entitled to an enemy. If you have no enemy, maybe you should apply to heaven to get one. Because that enemy will expose you. The enemy will show you the hardness of your heart. The enemy will tell us whether you have faith, you don't have faith. One of the reasons that God left the devil on earth to be troubling people is to test whether you, are, you really have faith or not. If you say, ah, I'm not a thief, it's until you see money and you don't steal it. I cannot fall, I cannot fall. It's until you face temptation and you do not fall. I believe God. I trust God. I'm standing. Until you've been tempted by the enemy and you stand. I trust myself. I cannot fall into fornication. Until you are tested and you refuse to fall. So it's the enemy that will expose the wickedness of your heart. It's the enemy that will expose whether you have faith or you don't have faith. It's the enemy that will expose your true nature. Is that enemy that provokes you that will let us to know whether you get angry or you are not? Is that enemy that will drive you to your knees in prayer? Most importantly, it is that enemy that will be a stepping stone to your promotion. I prophesy on the life of somebody here, as many enemies as are gathered against you, so shall your testimonies be big. In the name of Jesus. Imagine, a sister was inside a city room with her husband. That time, she was going to a dancing church. Every Sunday, she that's why she was going on Sunday until something strange happened she was in the city room with her husband and a woman knocked the door and entered I said madam how are you mommy Julius is that your name I said, no it's not Julius it's John I said mommy John is that your name I said, yes it's okay uh, I want to borrow your husband for two weeks the woman was too shocked to answer I said hello take your bag and follow me and the man stood up. The man said, Baba John, where are you going? I said, I want to follow her. And the man took his briefcase, 11 o'clock in the night, left his wife, and walked out. The woman wanted to fight, but something told her that if a person can be bold enough to walk into your room at night and command your husband to follow, and your husband followed, do you think he's ordinary person? She called one of her friends. The friend said, eh? she said I've been telling you. Come to Mountain of Fire. He said, they, are, they, are be, they will be shaking their head. And they will be saying, die, 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 die. They will be shaking their head. Die, 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 die. He said, well, do you want to follow me or not? That's what brought her here. It was the enemy that drove her to that. If not, you still be, you buy him well. I go here. That's why she will be. Perhaps you are a pastor. You need that staff or that minister that will hate you and confront you. But you must love him and appreciate him. 
and count him as an asset. Because he will force you to pray more than you are praying before. Try and understand this, beloved. Problems, they are access to life. Any road without any obstacle leads you to nowhere. We grow only through challenges and battles. We grow through problems. If you are a student, you need that teacher in the class who does not want to see your face. You need that lecturer who will say, you will fail this course. He's an enemy, but he will push you to work hard. If you are a lecturer, you need that student who will be challenging you in class. If you are a minister, you need an assistant minister who will be ridiculing you, who will be laughing your sermons to scorn. If you are a chorister, you need the person who will be saying, you are sinking nonsense, you are sinking rubbish, this thing is bad. If you are a servant, you need a master who will be harassing you, who is never satisfied with all the work you are putting in, all your energy, everything is not satisfied. You will need these people because their opposition and confrontation will make you to kneel down and ask for divine intervention. Let me tell you something else that may interest you very much. Your greatest enemy is not the devil. Your greatest enemy is not the witches and wizards. Your greatest enemy is not any human being. Your greatest enemy really is yourself. He you said, uh, how can I be close to God? How can I be close to God? You are as close to God as you want to be. Yes. As close as you want to be. If you decide you want to be close to God now, and you double your prayer time, double your Bible reading, double your consecration, double your witnessing, double your praying in tongues, you will get close by force. So, it's your choice. So, therefore, our greatest enemy is us. It is that us that will not have enough faith to do what God wants us to do. I want you to understand this very, very well. Your worst enemy is yourself. And until you defeat yourself, defeat yourself, greatest breakthrough sometimes is very difficult. Because sometimes when you pray for breakthroughs, the enemy will say, make you give and give and we go see what you go up. Because the enemy knows that you will make a mistake. Everyone will say, bring it back, bring it back. Because you are not using it well. Like that person with one talent. Please try and understand this fact of life. There are different levels of enemies. The Bible talks about more wicked demons. Even demons vary in wickedness. There are levels in wickedness. If I slap you, and you slap me back, you are not wicked. You just retaliated. But when I don't touch you, I'm actually smiling and greeting you. And you are slapping me. That's wickedness. A thief that steals your shoes is a wicked enemy. But the one that steals your leg without touching your shoes is a more wicked enemy. The thief that steals your spectacles is a wicked enemy. But the one that steals the eyes is a more wicked enemy. The thief that steals your Bible wicked enemy. But the one that steals your salvation is a more wicked enemy. Try and understand. Because Leah was hated. Because eh, all of you, you hated this one. Okay, because you hate her, I will bless her. There is somebody here tonight. Because they hate you in your family, God will bless you mightily. Let your amen rule like thunder. Try to understand. There are people who hurt to hate you. There are people who will not be happy until they hate you. There are people who will not complete their assignment until they hate you. And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened a womb. Can you raise up your right hand again? You will shout this louder than anyone around you. Unrepentant enemies. Battling my destiny. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. When the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb. In life, we like those who celebrate us. 
we avoid those who hate us. But the truth is that they are playing a role. They are playing a role. But God, we never fight on the side of the enemy against us. I have a word for somebody here. Because somebody hates you and is consulting which doctors against you, God will promote you. So get it into your brain, beloved. Everybody cannot like you. Some hate you because of your look. Some hate you because of the way you talk. Some hate you because you go about and behave as if you don't have any problem. Some hate you because of the way you walk. Some hate you because you are pretty. Some hate you because you are tall. Some even hate you because you are short. Some hate you because of your talents. Some hate you because of your qualifications. I prophesy upon your life that no matter the hatred targeted against you, you shall become the light and salt of your family. In the name of Jesus, let your heaven rule like thunder. Let your heaven rule like thunder. In Exodus chapter 23, verse 22 Exodus 23-22 But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies an adversary unto thine adversaries The word enemy, enemy, enemies appears 380 times in the King James Bible. It is therefore a serious matter. Who is your enemy? Your enemy is any power, force, personality, spirit that do not want you to fulfill your destiny. Power, force, personality, spirit, that do not want you to fulfill your destiny. Who is your enemy? Power, force, personality, spirit, planning your downfall. Who is your enemy? Entities, determining the fulfillment of God's promises for your life. Who is your enemy? Entities, wasting your years. Who is your enemy? Entities, Blocking your advancement. Who is your enemy? Entities saying, This is how far you can go, and you cannot go further. This is how far you can go, and you cannot go further. Can you raise up your right hand? Say, Powers! Power. Saying, This is how far I can go. Yes. Your voice is not angry enough. Jesus. Sit clearly, Calabas and in Jesus' name we pray. Who is your enemy? It's entities sponsoring warfare against you. Who is your enemy? Powers keeping your talents in the freezer. Who is your enemy? Powers promoting every delay. Who is your enemy? Powers sponsoring affliction it is your enemy. Powers making you to lose your property it is your enemy. Powers making your problem to become stronger it is your enemy. Power causing failure at the edge of success it is your enemy. Powers retarding your spiritual growth it is your enemy. Powers blocking you from receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost who is your enemy? Powers sinking the boat of your destiny. Who 
is your enemy. Powers carrying out instruction to destroy your chances. He is your enemy. Powers affecting your divine speed. He is your enemy. Powers making you to walk like an elephant and eat like an ant. He is your enemy. Powers that wait for you at the gate of the entrance of your promised land and quickly build a wall of Jericho. Who is your enemy? His powers promoting complicated problems. Who is your enemy? Power opposing your testimony. Who is your enemy? Powers turning you to a spiritual bat. You can't hear, you can see in the spirit realm. Who is your enemy? Power downgrading your spiritual life. Who is your enemy? Power silencing the voice of your glory. Who is your enemy? Powers pushing your helpers away. Who is your enemy? Powers energizing confusion. Who is your enemy? Power attacking your dream life. Who is your enemy? Powers taking away your sleep. Who is your enemy? Power attacking your prayer life. Who is your enemy? Powers issuing curses against you. Who is your enemy? Powers diverting your blessings. Who is your enemy? Powers that have taken over the horse of your destiny and they are riding on it. Who is your enemy? Powers manipulating your helpers to forget you. Powers making even your helpers to fight you. Who is your enemy? Powers hijacking your harvest. Who is your enemy? Powers laying siege against you and your family. Who is your enemy? Power pressing down your head. Powers celebrating your mistakes and pain. Powers laughing when you are crying. Who is your enemy? Powers planting evil seed in the garden of your life. Who is your enemy? Powers monitoring your star for evil. Who is your enemy? Powers chanting destructive incantations against you. Who is your enemy? Power is using satanic wisdom to cheat you. Who is your enemy? Power circulating your name for evil. Who is your enemy? Power breaking your staff of bread. Who is your enemy? Power assigned to break the ladder of your greatness. But what is the promise of Jehovah? Jehovah said in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19, And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail. That's what the Bible says. He didn't say they will not fight. Oh, they will give you a fight. But he said, they shall not prevail. Say, they shall not prevail. Say it again. Uh Shout it again. Let your voice be louder now. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet. All eyes closed. In case you are here tonight and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Our seven prayers now will not help you until you surrender your life to Jesus. So, wherever you are, say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Just close your eyes and raise up your right hand. Say this after me Father, in the name of Jesus, come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. Jesus name. Amen. To say that short prayer with me, need a little close, find a way to this altar. Lay your right hand on your head now. We need to pray this prayer before we start our mountain moving prayers. Your head is the symbol of your destiny. Your head is the carrier of your glory. Please, don't feel sorry for that head as you pray now. There is something called cobwebs. There is something called dirtiness. There is something called dust. The enemy might have used your head as a dust collector. Might have used your head as cobweb collector. Right now where you are, your correct head might have been taken off. And you are going about with fake head. The psalmist cried to the Lord. Say, return unto thy resting place, O my soul. Meaning that the soul can go away. There are wicked powers that change people's head in the spirit. So a man who is going about with the wrong head, of course, will not fulfill his destiny. Say this loud and clear with your hand on your head. Power of head manipulation. Of head manipulation. Yeah! The name of Jesus.
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out the prayer sheet of the mountain you would like to pull down. As you make this seven holy cry, this seven holy mountain moving cry, it is important that you don't allow anybody's voice to be louder than yours. This is blind Bartimaeus kind of prayer. My father, I am here. Have mercy on me. In the name of Jesus. Mercy, glory, and of my judgment. Have mercy on me. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, so, oh, wind of God. In the name of Jesus, blow away my red sea. 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 But Capote said you like I am. In Jesus' name we pray. This particular prayer. It has helped millions. Let it help you tonight. Oh God that doeth hard things. Manifest your power in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh God that doeth hard things. Manifest your power in my life. Manifest your power. Manifest your power. Manifest your power. Jesus name we pray mountain busting against my progress da! in the name of Jesus somebody is breaking through somebody is breaking through thank you Jesus yes Jesus, then we pray. Serpent! Hiding in my environment. Duh! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Two more prayers. Stop on pursue. Hear the word of the Lord. Die. In the name of Jesus.
And put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone is here. There are soldier hands in your house. They are not ordinary soldier hands. They are agents of poverty and devourer. By the time you get home from this prayer meeting, you will meet them dead. Amen. I see sister here. Well, this is very sad. The person sitting on your marriage saying that you're not married before tomorrow's money that person will be dead yes thank you Jesus something is about to happen to two men over there these two men may not be able to stand on their feet you these two gentlemen over there your business has not been doing well i decree right now that the connection between your placenta and that tree planted in your family compound is broken now in the name of jesus that's the first person that's the second person yes Yes. Powers behind my problems. Can you shout this loud and clear? Is that the loudest who can say it? Is that the loudest who can say it? Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Something strange is happening over there. Continue. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. With a loud voice. Shout this song loud. Shout it. Make it a shout. It's not just singing. Shout it loud and clear. And you are going to shout it three times. The God that answered by fire. 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 Thank you, Jesus. As you go, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. The eyes that let that stumble of sin shall be upon you. The sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night. Every tragedy disaster left in this year is minus you and your family. In the name of Jesus. The Lord has done some strange miracles in some people tonight. Make sure that you testify. Let us share the grace in fellowship.